third year here at the University of Cincinnati, majoring in finance and minoring in math. Um, and I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. I will be going through, for the most part, all of the clubs and organizations I am a part of here on campus throughout the day. Um, but I look forward to speaking with some of you and showing you what my day-to-day -day is like here at Lunar. Long story short, essentially the reason why I'm in finance is because I love math and it's something that I'm really good at. And my career coach in the career prep program that I'm, I am a part of, known as NLT, actually recommended that I add it as a minor. Um, math is essential in every. All right, so I am finishing a one-on-one -on -one with a student and I'm just going to have her introduce herself and state her favorite thing about the Business Foundations course. My name's Emma Dieters and my favorite thing about the Business Foundations course is getting to work with other students on our Big Idea project. I had a very surface level knowledge of finance. I knew pretty much what everyone um, knew about finance, but the grunt of the learning has definitely come from being in my finance courses um, and speaking with and meeting individuals, um, students as well who know more about finance and kind of having those discussions. Um, I joined finance essentially because I enjoyed math and there were all of the qualities that I wanted in finance compared to um, accounting, if you want to distinguish because both involve math. Um, so that's what led me to finance. But don't be discouraged if you don't know too much about finance. Um, you have the opportunity to learn and grow. That's why you're here. Um, and you do learn and grow a lot. So I kind of just wanted to reiterate on uh, the two organizations I just kind of posted some information about. Um, first is Queen City Consulting. Uh, currently, I am an analyst um, for the Queen City Consulting Organization. So essentially, you work with a small team of incredible students and you go through um, a project essentially creating a presentation to help a business through, for example, ours is helping with marketing strategies, um, engagement, stuff like that. So you work um, through this project throughout the months with a team of people. Um, and you get to do like research, analyze data, um, interviews if you want to gain more information and you work through a slide deck um, and then you have two presentations, a midpoint presentation and then a final presentation which you give to your client um, in order to. And then moving on to the pace leader position, um, you are in charge of leading a group of 20 plus students. Uh, it takes place in the Business Foundations course through a uh, big idea project. So essentially the students create um, a project based on either a business that they've made up or they can join a franchise, anything like that. And they go through like financial projections sheet um, and essentially create their own business um, and present it at the end. Um, Pace Leader is also in charge of grading, um, doing one-on-ones like I showed with Emma Dieter. She's an awesome student, always gets all her work in. Good job, Emma. Um, and yeah, so it's it's an incredible opportunity. I joined it because I have had a unique experience here at UC and I wanted to make sure that I was in a position to guide and lead students who were once who I was once in their position um, to help them find success in their path. of things that I can recommend to you. Um, I was in the same situation not too long ago. Um, so the first thing would be to just find two majors that you're interested in, two that are passions of, passions of yours. Um, I know sometimes the point is to have them 
intertwine in a way that works for your career path. Um, but if you're still kind of figuring out what you want to do and going between two different options, um, pursuing a major in both is an incredible opportunity to still be able to be immersed in um, both of those topics or disciplines. And then the second option would be to figure out uh, kind of the career path you want to go into and then through that search what are some of the you know educational requirements that are typical in that field or figure out um, what major discipline might give you a competitive advantage in the career path that you plan on going in. Um, sometimes there are, you know, professions or career paths that you want to go into. Um, and then as you're in the position, you'll find out, hey, it would have been helpful to have this major or minor because I'm doing a lot of blank, like especially business analytics is huge because business analytics is the center of practically all business and analytic skills um, are some of the most important skills for you to have. Um, so just that's an option, just finding what major or minor might give you a competitive advantage in the field you're going into. And then lastly, is just speaking with faculty members um, and other people with knowledge in each major to kind of gauge what majors or minors they think will pair best, um, depending on the type of person you are, the career path you wanna go into, or what just pairs best in general.